Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, coming at you with another Baseball Stars binder video project. Um, this will be the final binder to round out the in alphabetical order. Uh, this binder has U through Z, and then we'll be officially done with uh, baseball and can move on to football and maybe basketball. So, um, sorry, it keeps focusing in and out. But uh, if you're new to this series, what I'd like to do is pick up like random lots of cards or players and uh, guys I like, stars, Hall of Famers, you name it, and uh, try and put them in binders. They take up a lot of space and a lot of time, but it's fun to do and makes it fun. So let's go ahead and dive into this one. So the first guy we have here who kind of has had quite a bit of an, like he's kind of an underrated player in the hobby, uh, but it's been very good pretty much wherever he goes. Um, it's going to hit a lot with power. I'm not going to strike out a lot, but uh, at least hit float around that 250, 260 range and just be an overall really good player. So Justin Upton is our first player in the first binder. So we got a few of his um, from a Diamondbacks lot, uh, team lot that I bought a while back. Then we got Mr. Chase Sutley. I have a lot of Chase Sutley cards now from that Phillies lot from the previous videos a couple months ago. And I got all kinds of parallels and everything. So, really cool player. I enjoyed watching him play. Um, I don't know if he'll make the Hall of Fame. I don't think he has quite the longevity and hits. But uh, we'll see. Um, as, you know, players play less. And you know, have shorter careers, really. Um, the way to see the Hall of Fame go. So, yep, so uh, we've got a really nice section of So, for you Phillies fans. I mean, I'm, I'm not necessarily necessarily a Phillies fan, but uh, I did used to like to collect their cards when I was younger. So I guess if I had to pick like a third or fourth favorite NL team besides the Rockies, uh, I'd probably pick uh, the Phillies. So. And then just got this, um, I don't think it's a group card or something, I can't remember what it was. Some kind of Allen and Ginter parallel. I don't remember what that one was. Just a framed mini, maybe, or something like that. Then we got Fernando Valenzuela in the V's. Fernando Mania. Of course, you got to put him in here. One of the biggest stars of the 1980s. Sadly, injuries just derailed his career, but uh, he was on top of the world there for quite a bit. So, everybody's probably expecting him to make the Hall of Fame, but it just didn't work out that way. So. On this guy, Jose Valverde, and decided to add him in there. I think he has about 300 career saves. Um, we'll see if he continues to stay in here. I don't know. I don't have very many cards of his. Um, but uh, he had a really great 2011 with the Tigers. Or maybe it was 2012. Something. I think it was 2011. But uh, solid career, I guess. Andy Van Slyke, a Pittsburgh Pirates fan favorite. Of course, hit pretty well. So have to make sure he's included in here. I think he was pretty good. Not a Hall of Famer, but again, this is kind of like my binder of very good players. So, um, and guys that I'd like to collect. Um, that page I'm going to have to fix, it's coming off the run. So that's nice. <laughs> uh, then we got uh, one of Jason's, uh, Mr. Fisher Bikes, favorite player, Mo Vaughn. Uh, I, had, I had a ton of his cards. Uh, I think I gave him some. A while back, but in the, at least when I sold the collection, I had a whole bunch of move on. And uh, so far, we got about two and a half pages worth. So I think last one I had probably like seven or eight. I uh, decided to add Robin Ventura in. I mean, he was was had a pretty solid long career. Um, I mean, and then he took on Nolan Ryan all by himself. So I mean, I think he uh, deserves to be in here. So <laughs> he's. We got him. Um, so I think I got two 1990 Leaf cards, so I'm going to have to switch those around. I try not to put duplicates in here, but I may have messed up a couple times in here. You never know. We got Justin Verlander, future Hall of Famer. Uh, hopefully he comes back after Tommy John. Still is pretty good. Um, we'll see. He's uh, He is up there. He's about 37 or so. So, who knows how much longer he's got left. Uh, Omar Vizquel. 
Um, I think should be in the Hall of Fame. Um, nearly 3,000 hits. Um, one of the great fielders. Had a terrific arm. Um, I think if you're counting for everything, offense and defense, uh, in the game, I think uh, he should make it some someday here. Got Mr. Joey Votto, hoping for a rebound for him. Love to see him make the Hall of Fame too. I mean, he kind of had a sort of a late start in his career. I think he was about 25 or so when he came up. So, I mean, didn't like come up like some of these guys, 22, 23, 24. But uh, he's approaching 40, so we'll see if he can keep playing at elite level. But I got a lot of cards of his from the uh, Reds team lot that also came with the Phillies lot. So that's pretty cool. Got Mr. Billy Wagner, left-handed reliever. Uh, threw really hard. We got his chrome card with the Phillies. Mr. Adam Wainwright signed in a one-year deal with the Cardinals. So he's back for one more season at least. So that's really cool. Probably won't make the Hall of Fame based on his win-loss record, but uh, as far as pitchers that within the last 15 years have been really good, um, he definitely would uh, take the cake on that one. Uh, Tim Wallach, another fan favorite for the Expos and Dodgers. Pretty good defensively. So we've got quite a few Tim Hall cards. About, what is that, four and a half pages? So, really cool. Uh, we just got one card of Bucky Walters, former Cleveland Indian. Then uh, added Mr. Bob Welch, um, another really good pitcher from the 80s, early 90s. Key cog in that successful Oakland A's dynasty. So really cool. Bob Welch. Uh, got a few cards of Vernon Wells. Really solid center fielder for a while. Angels and Blue Jays. Could hit a lot of home runs. Jason Worth, I decided to add. Um, again, kind of was a late bloomer. So, may not have put up like the fanciest stats you might see um, on paper, but uh, in the time he did play, uh, barring injuries, he was pretty good. So. Always fearful when he came up the bat when I was watching Rockies games. Uh, here's one of my favorite all-time players. Uh, second favorite to Robin Yell, Mr. Lou Whitaker. I don't know why, I just have always liked collecting uh, his cards. So, uh, sweet Lou Whitaker. Um, hopefully we'll get in the Hall of Fame. That tandem with Alan Trammell. That'd be really cool, but uh, some people say he won't. I guess I'm biased because I like him. I say yes. <laughs> so, really cool. Just have a whole bunch of his stuff. So there might be actually some duplicates in here because I just may have just decided to keep them. Got Bernie Williams, one of Victor Negron's favorite players. So this is a section he's going to want to like. I'm going to want to see. So Probably probably have all these Victor but again if you happen to see some that you don't just let me know I'd be willing to send them your way for a friend I can always get another one got Mr. Matt Williams another pretty good third baseman power hitter Giants Indians Diamondbacks so really cool we got uh, David Wright got that nice jersey card, the black jerseys, which I guess are coming back uh, this year for the Mets. Just three cards of his so far. Got one of the hottest players in the hobby, hottest players in baseball right now, Mr. Christian Yelich. Um, doing really good things for the Brewers last couple seasons. MVP candidate every year, so really sweet. So got a few of his. Got Kevin Euclid, the Greek god of walks, as he's referred to in the movie Moneyball. Got Michael Young, another pretty good player for the Rangers, and finished his career out with the Phillies. Uh, I got one card so far, Ryan Zimmerman. I think I might have more somewhere, but for the most part, I got most of my cards in these binders. Uh, I got Mr. Barry Zito, or Zito. I got two jersey cards, three jersey cards. I'm sorry. 
and a bat card, which is kind of odd. <laughs> but, uh, especially for an American League picture. But hey. So we got quite a few hits from the Giants and yeah, I think just the Giants lot that I made of, that I picked up because I haven't gotten any Oakland A's. And I think that finishes it up. So that is it. So that completes the MLB Stars binder. So thank you guys if you've been following the series the last few months. Appreciate you watching all the videos. Uh, let me know what you think of them. And uh, let me know if also if there are some players and if you do something similar to this, some players that maybe I'm missing that you might add that I can maybe consider adding to mine as well. So talk to you guys all later. And there's going to be many, many videos coming out this week. So um, going to have lots of fun with videos. So I hope you'll look forward to that. So talk to you later. Bye.